Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna create automated, animated boxes for your titles like this. Hope everyone's having a great day today. My name's Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film. In this video, we're specifically gonna work on creating expressions that allow us to create boxes to the size of our titles. And if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to check that out, links in the description. And you can also chat with me and many other creators out there on our very own Discord. That link's in the description as well. So let's go ahead and jump in the video and start creating some really cool stuff. So here we are in our tutorial composition and all I have in here is a title and our background. So the first thing we want to do is create the box. So we'll come here to the top and grab the rectangle tool and we'll just want to draw out a box like this. And then we'll go to the line tab and we'll want to center this up. So if you don't see the line tab, go to window align and then click the vertical and center horizontal alignments. And this will be the center of our composition. So from here, we'll bring this layer underneath our title and I'll just change the color of our title real quick. So if we come here and say animate our title, you can see that the box doesn't move because we don't have any you know, linking between the title and our background. So what we'll do here is go into our shape layer one and we'll come here to the rectangle one. We'll come here to rectangle path one and we have size and position. And these are two things that we're going to want to create expressions for. So first thing we're going to want to do is create an expression for size. So we can alt click the stopwatch for size. And from here, what we want to do is type in S equals and then there's a little pick whip right here and we're going to pick whip this to our title so right there to the top and it'll say this comp dot layer and it'll say the name of the text layer so this name should be exactly the same name as the text layer with you know cap sensitive as well so next up what we'll do is hit enter and then we'll come here to this notepad that i have here and i'll drop these expressions in the video description so you can just copy them what we'll do is we'll copy the bottom portion of this size expression so you can see we already have the top portion here you can copy that but just make sure that this name is the same name as your title layer and we'll come in here and we'll just paste that bottom portion of that expression in there let's also alt click the stopwatch for position and we're going to copy the second expression right here and we'll copy that and we'll paste that in there just make sure the first line also is set to the title layer as well just like that so it says self resizing if this said if this text layer said hello this needs to be set to hello so just keep that in mind and click off of this and now that we have our expressions in here now what we'll do is come to our shape layer and we'll want to make sure this is centered aligned in the composition again and here it is so so now what we'll do is we'll parent the shape layer to our title now we come here we can scale up our title and boom there's our box animating with it we can also change the size over here we can come to the textile tool and we can type in more words, boom, it updates automatically, right? So obviously this isn't appealing in any way because you know it's cutting right on the edge there. So there's a couple ways, there's a couple things we can do. First things first, you can come to our shape layer here, go to add, and we can add a offset paths, open up offset paths, and you can you know change the amount. Also, what you could do is click on the word stroke here at the top, set it to solid color, and click OK. And then you know if you want you can change the color a little bit and then increase the stroke and then continue to increase the offset paths you know just something to think about you can create a little bit of a nice border there uh so it's really up to you how you want to you know design this so it's really cool so let's go ahead and talk about some animation here this is the reason why we would want to do this so we'll come here to our say our title layer here go to animate and we'll add say like a, a scale and we'll come here set the scale down to zero percent and you know nothing's going on there and then let's come here to range selector one add keyframe for start move forward in time maybe like a second and a half set it up to 100 percent so now boom so boom that's what we have and then of course make these easy ease keyframes and then obviously to make it a little bit more interesting let's come here to add and let's add another property and let's add tracking and from here what we can do is move the tracking over to the negative value and until we kind of get this you know lined up in the center of you know our composition so now it looks like it's coming in from the middle just like that. And that's pretty cool. And then I maybe just hit S for my key forward for scale, add a keyframe for this, and move it forward in time. And I can scale this down by a little bit. So, you know, obviously it doesn't matter what animation that we apply to this, it will the box and title will always react together. And that's really cool how this works. So that's essentially how you can create self-resizing, you know, titles with shape layers inside of After Effects. It's very easy to do, obviously, just with the right expression. Boom, it's easy to go. So 
One thing I want to take a look at here to make this a little bit more interesting is adding accent motion graphics to this because obviously if you're working with titles, you know, you know, sometimes this can just be plain and boring. So instead of having a title animation by itself, we were able to add these accent motion graphics to make this composition more appealing within a matter of seconds. So we have our very own motion graphic accent pack that we can add into this. And I'll drop a link in the video description if you want to check this out, but let me show you how this works. So, and we can come here to one of my folders called lines and I can bring this into here. And as you can see now, we have an animation that does that. And I can, of course, come here, scale this down, move this into a cool position, duplicate this, move it around, duplicate it, duplicate it, you know, and kind of just start creating some variations and offset these in time so they don't come on at the same time. Then I can double click on these, go to our control layer, and I can change the colors. And we quickly added some accent motion graphics to make this a little bit more detailed. And then you can extend your accent motion graphics for however lengthy your project is. And the nice thing about this pack, there's 150 accent motion graphics inside this pack. So if you want to quickly enhance your compositions, you can check our links in the video description and you can check out our 150 accent motion graphic starter pack. If you want to learn more about our 150 accent motion graphic pack, you can check our links in the video description. We created a demo video showing you step by step how to work with the pack and its full use of using 150 accent motion graphics. And if you want to learn more about creating accent motion graphics, we've created a handful of tutorials for this sort of thing. You can go ahead and check those links in the video description if you want to learn how to create these. So I hope you guys enjoyed our automated self-resizing box tutorial for our titles. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials like this every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.